हेलो ऑल माय नेम इज क्रश नायक एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइस रिसेंटली आई हैव टेकन अ लॉट ऑफ पॉडकास्ट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ट्रांजिशन इनटू द डेटा एनालिटिक्स इंडस्ट्री एज अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट एज अ डेटा इंजीनियर एज अ डेटा एनालिस्ट यू नो एंड एवरीबडी वेन आई वॉज स्पेसिफिकली टॉकिंग इन दोज इन दोज पॉडकास्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई स्पेसिफिकली आस्ट वॉज दैट हाउ वर दे एबल टू गेट कॉल्स फॉर द जॉब्स राइट द एच आर कॉल्स and everybody more than 80 percentage of the people mentioned they got the call from linkedin so what specific steps that they have actually taken so and what is the strategy what is the process that they have probably taken in order to probably get calls from hr from the uh, hr itself through linkedin and what are the common mistakes that people usually do you know so that you know and there are many people i usually stress in all my live session in all my video saying that please focus on the linkedin profile please focus on applying on jobs on linkedin but still people say that krish we have applied more than 200 jobs still we are not getting the calls right so what are the common mistakes that you may also be doing and understand guys this entire video is from the experience from all the people who have made those kind of transition so i will be accumulating over here all those kind of mistakes making sure that you follow this technique i would like to mention this video as like bap of all techniques of applying data science jobs uh, through linkedin right again the the main aim is to increase the probability of getting the calls from the hr itself right there are a lot of jobs that are available in the linkedin uh, you can see that many many companies are connected to it and if you follow this process properly without making much mistakes then definitely you'll stand out in this okay so what i'm actually going to do i'm going to share my entire linkedin over here and i will be suggesting you some of the very important points whether you are a college student whether you are a fresher experienced anyone please follow the strategies before you apply ahead right so here i'm just going to share my screen and now here you can just see this right i have just opened two linkedin uh, tab over here uh, in the first tab i have searched for data science jobs okay one amazing thing about linkedin is that you have almost each and everything available over here suppose over here jobs are there you can see experience level you can see companies you know you can see on site remote hybrid this option is also there and easy apply easy apply basically means whatever profile you have saved in the linkedin itself uh, through that you will be able to apply it okay now let's start with freshers and what are the common mistakes that they specifically do i'll also be discussing about that experienced people also i'll be discussing about that okay so let's say i i'm a fresher i probably want to look for a job understand with respect to data science you know if you are a fresher or if you are a college student let's say in the third year in the final year the first thing that you should always you should not directly go ahead and apply for the main jobs that are available first of all always try with internships because i'll tell you in freshers right whenever recruiter sees they see whether you have the kind of experience or not to work in the industry right so it is always always i usually suggest everyone who are college graduates who are freshers first of all go ahead and look for internships and still when you are in second year you should try this particular technique let's say that i go ahead and select over here as internships okay so here you can probably see one k results are there now before this i hope that you should be knowing all the skills you are probably sharing the knowledge in the linkedin through 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 that's what will happen if you're sharing enough amount of knowledge lot of mutual connections will also happen i'll tell you how these mutual connections will be super important now here you can probably see one month ago i'm just taking as an example data science intern v was there senior business development internships okay let's say data analytics trainee just two days back you can probably see this the particular job is there okay um you can probably see all the modules uh, jd jobs and descriptions that are probably available in this right now the first thing as a fresher when you see I, i've seen a lot of freshers you know when they see okay data analytics trainee is here okay fine i need to just apply the job i will go and click on the apply and whatever resume i have prepared i'll just go and submit it never do like that first of all read the jd the jd is super important right the job description is super important and here you can probably see the job description has very much limited things like week 1 and week 2 what all be the responsibilities they have written over here candidates will be working on the live projects assigned to them by the company you know candidates will be preparing a project report and submit right what are the requirements you need to acquire a bachelor degree or pursuing definitely see this is also for the college students uh, proficiency with ms office strong this 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 uh, respectness to feedback and reliability now these are some basic requirements 
Now, on top of those requirements, you can write anything else, right? First of all, always try to match whatever JD is specifically given over here. Let's say I go ahead and select this Python web development internship. Now, whether you are a fresher, whether you are anyone, right? First of all, you have to go ahead and see the JD, what the JD specifically wants, right? What we are looking for, uh, you should know Git, you should know Python programming language. So try to write something that are really related to this. Now see, they have also written, you should know prompt engineering and LLMs. And probably if you're following my channel, I've already uploaded this kind of videos. So you should definitely write those kind of information and what things you have actually developed in this. Now you may be thinking, Krish, uh, that basically means for every every company, I need to probably go ahead and update it. Guys, understand the resume, everything will be almost same. Whatever work you are doing, everything. Most of the thing that will be changing is roles and responsibilities. That only you have to just write it at pointer wise. Remaining projects will be same. Everything will be same. Mainly the roles and responsibilities because unless and until they don't find these things, right? It will be very difficult. See, I am working, I'm heading a specific company over here. We also do a lot of hiring, right? And how the JD is floated, how the resume is matched. We know that specific thing. So you have to always make this thing specifically uh, match to the JD that is provided by the companies itself. Many people make this mistake. They don't see the even the JD, they directly go ahead and apply never do that okay so here also you can basically see a lot of different different work you will be able to see over here right so definitely try it out and again i'm telling you do not rush okay once you apply for it let's say the hr says tomorrow only you are available for the interview don't say yes i'm available unless and until you are prepared well right if you're prepared well definitely go for it the next day ask for two to three days time where you focus on revising the concepts where you focus on understanding the end-to-end -end project or revising the end-to-end -end project and everything is available in my channel right so this is the thing that you really need to do okay now the second thing is with respect to let's say the internship and entry level uh, you can probably search for if you're a college graduate or a fresher or still in college you will find a lot of things over here right now let's say staff uh, staff data scientist now see with respect to this particular jobs also here it is written as promoted that basically means this company is using the linkedin advertisement linkedin recommendation system or they have a tie up with linkedin for providing different kind of jobs with respect to this to the end user right so that is the reason it is coming as promoted that basically means they pay linkedin some specific amount to get the candidates now here with respect to this also here you'll be able to see you'll find out the entire roles and responsibilities very nicely right and you just need to match your jd with respect to this if you are able to do it trust me guys that will be more than sufficient your probability will be increasing of your getting of your resume getting selected and this I'm not saying for the people who have taken the interviews whom, uh, whom I have actually done the podcast who have made successful career transition, I've spoken to them. And that is how I, I was able to understand. Now, let's say if you are an experienced person. Now, experienced person, definitely one thing is that a person who is already maybe working in some other technology wants to switch into data science domain. For these people, once you learn data science skill set, the next thing that you really need to focus on is that please try to apply some kind of POC proof of concept in your current company itself in your current project there will be data there will be something you have to go ahead and ask your manager so something can happen over there some kind of automation can happen some kind of efficiency can brought you need to find out that and if you're not able to find out that basically means you have not learned data science properly right there will definitely be 50 to 60 percentage of chances that you may definitely find out a use case i know it is very difficult to convince a manager to do it in a real world scenario so that is the reason i'm saying proof of concept and that is the experience that you need to put up when you go ahead now we'll see with respect to associate and uh, mid level you know i will probably be going and searching over here right with respect to data science job let's me go and search it okay now here i will be able to find out different jobs see senior data scientist let's say i go and select the senior data scientist now here you can see right key responsibilities ml algorithms this computer vision life cycle of ai project see uh, implementation validation deployment if you are probably following my end-to-end -end project right very easily you will be able to clear, clear this right any end-to-end -end project that you are probably uh, you know uh, seen in my youtube channel some specific playlist easily you will be able to clear it and it is true guys many people are able to do it right end to end you have to explain see over here deployment is also done validation is also done everything right ideation model training model development 
uh, everything is basically mentioned over here and definitely you can take up that specific thing and only thing that you really need to practice is go ahead and tell about your end-to-end -end project two important things that you always need to focus on your interviews one is the basic foundation the strong knowledge that you have and the secondary thing is that definitely prepare couple of projects end-to-end -end project if couple if you're not able to do two at least do one but always make sure you try to use some kind of open source tools you try to do follow the entire life cycle of a data science project see here also you can see full life cycle of ai project right from data ingestion to data transformation to model trainer to model evaluation to model monitoring to model deployment how you have performed all these things what all challenges you have faced when you explain all these things that is more than sufficient according to me so that is the reason i always say guys focus on your strong foundation knowledge second is focus on end-to-end -end projects and what all challenges what all things you can probably include it try to include and explain it to the interviewer that will be more than sufficient now again i'm telling you guys tomorrow if you get an opportunity let's say with respect to this jd i've applied the job i got the call from the company always take sufficient amount of time because now you are probably applying for as a senior data scientist as a data scientist with some experience always take sufficient amount of time for revision and for any kind of interviews that you're going ahead always remember i have uploaded see i've uploaded all this kind of uh, materials interview questions everything in my channel right and probably soon if you are really interested please do let me know in the comment section whether you're interested to give interviews mock interviews in my youtube channel i'll be very happy to take it i'll i will also try to bring some guests the reason why i'm doing is that because i know many people will be afraid what will others say you know what will other people say to me you know they're saying something bad about me i'm not able to you will feel demotivated but trust me guys you will feel more motivated to study more right don't be afraid of the mock interviews. If you are really interested, please make sure that you let me know in the comment section and I'll start that particular initiative in my channel. Before I used to do that, many people used to love it. But some people feel doing motivated when they are not able to give answers. But those people later on worked hard and they were able to clear the jobs. And still, now we are having this kind of podcast. You can check out my YouTube channel with respect to the podcast. Right? Now here you have so many different, different jobs. All you have to see in NVIDIA, you have AI MLOps. Everything has been covered in my YouTube channel related to MLOps. I've used different, different uh, open source tools, different, different platform. Not specifically, I'm saying open source. At least go ahead with open source, Dockers, Kubernetes. Everything is covered with respect to a specific project. And this is super important as we go ahead, you know. So always please make sure that you try to do with respect to this. Then only... And these are the common mistakes people, they just directly go ahead and apply. They say, okay, tomorrow I'm going to for the interview. Yes. When you are directly also applying without see, even hardly seeing the JD and matching your resume, how will you be able to get the job? Always understand guys, getting job is completely in your hand, right? No one is going to come and help you with respect to each and everything. Even once you get the job in the industries also, you have to do it yourself. Yes, we can follow some process where which will increase the probability of getting the calls itself, right? So I hope you like this particular video. If you like it, please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel, press the bell notification icon and many, many end-to-end -end projects are going to come up as we go ahead. I hope you like this particular video. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, Wanda. Take care. Bye-bye.